So, guys, this one's a pretty big one that I want to go over. Um, to do this problem, we need to make sure that we remember what squaring means. X squared equals X times X, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What if I said XY squared? That would equal XY times XY. Right? Squaring means you take whatever you're taking and multiply by itself. So if I have XYP squared, what that means is you take XY over P and you multiply it by XY over P. Does everybody see that? So really, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm doing with the squaring, don't make this more difficult than it has to be. All you can just do is rewrite this as 4p to the 7 over 7 r squared times the same thing. And then you might say, well, what do we do with this, right? Well, guys, when you're multiplying, remember when you multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators times numerators and the denominators times denominators. Now, you remember you multiply with your like terms. And when you multiply, you follow the rules of exponents. The rule of exponents states, when I have a multiplication of two numbers with the same base and exponents, I simply add the exponents. So here I have 4 times 4, which is, let's just write this out, 4 squared, p7 times p7, which really is p to the 7 plus 7, all over 7 times 7, which is 7 squared, and r squared plus 2. So guys, 4 times uh, 4, 4 squared is 16. p to the 7 plus 7 is p to the 14. 7 uh, squared is 49. And p to the 14 is just going to be p, or r to the 4. I cannot simplify the p and the r because they don't have the same base. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and 16 and 49, um, I don't see a number that I can think of on top of my head that's going to reduce that fraction. So that would be your final answer. If you guys kind of want a shortcut for that, you guys got some guys want a shortcut? Sometimes that's a lot of work, right? Yeah. So a quick little shortcut you can do is remembering our power rule that, ladies and gentlemen, this is the same thing as this. 4 squared p to the 7 squared, 7 squared, r squared squared. So what I did was I took my square and I squared everything inside of my parentheses. Square. 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 So 4 squared again is 16. And what's p7 to raise to the second power? Well, you need to remember You guys need to remember your power rules. The power rule says any number raised to an exponent raised to another exponent oh. equals the variables multiplied by each other. So I get 16 p to the 14 and then divided by 7 squared, which is 49, r to the 4. OK? And that's it. That's your final answer. Oh, man.